Good morning, Poplar Springs. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continuously be in my mouth. The book of James, chapter 5, verse 16 in the New Living Translation reads as follows. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Let us pray for our sick, shut-in, and bereaved families because we know that prayer is the answer. Sister Elaine Dawson, Sister Linda Tiller, Reverend Randy Jackson Walker's Tabernacle Baptist Church, Deacon Norman Thomas Sr., First Baptist Church, Gresham Road, Pastor Hebrew McDonald, Salvation Word of Life, Reverend Robert and Sister Julia Carter, Alabama, Mother Carolyn Jackson, Sister Lucille Browns, Brother Kendrick and Sister Kenyatta Tyler, Columbia, South Carolina, Reverend John and Mother Mary Filer, First Baptist Church, Gresham Road, Sergeant Jermaine Jackson, who will be leaving for Kuwait on Thursday, May 7th, for over a year. Reverend Dr. Alton Taylor, Denmark, South Carolina. Sister Lynette Pinkston. Mother Vera Upshaw. Sister Claudia Grayson. Sister Lily Washington, Miami, Florida. Mother Bertie Mae Dix. Sister Doris and Brother Bobby Tolbert. Sister Betty Hayes, Sister Sheree Michelle Jackson, and to our bereaved families, Deacon Floyd and Sister Mary Dabney in the death of their daughter and a brother-in-law. Minister Cecilia Hockett Walker and Minister Wendell Fields in the death of their father, Deacon Daddy Clarence Fields. Pastor Spencer O'Neill and Sister Lawanda O'Neill Duff and families in the death of their father. Former moderator, Reverend Dr. Douglas E. Stowers, Mount Calvary Baptist Church, Atlanta, in the death of his mother. Remember, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Our prayer line is open every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Start dialing in at 6.45 p.m. at 1-339-209-5770. God bless you and have a blessed week. Good morning. My name is Joshua Tiller and I will be reading Psalm 121. If you have your Bibles, read along with me. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven, heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. <coughs> the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thee soul, thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I have read Psalm 121, verse 1 through 8.
once again. It's a wonderful day, and it's the first Sunday in May, and we're just grateful to God that he had blessed us to keep us all together. I want to say again to our church family, certainly the Lord is just good, and he's good all the time. Amen. I want to thank God for those of you that have been given, and our offering certainly is a blessing to the church as well as to the Lord. And in case some of you uh, don't understand uh, how we give, let me break it down to you for a moment before we get into our message. You can give, number one, by U.S. mail, by mailing it in, or you can log in to website www.psbc-ellenwood.org and click on Give. And you can download Giveify app on your mobile phone or uh, add to your bill of pay. And the last one you can give by inserting it in the door. We have a lock box on the door and you can give it in the door and certainly our secretary, amen, uh, Sister Jackson will take care of the rest. Let me say also to you that uh, on last night uh, we lost, amen, Minister Spencer O'Neill, Father. And we're asking for your prayers, Papa Spring, because our Brother Spencer O'Neill is still on the hour. And we are praying for him and his lovely wife that God would let them know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. And I also found out that Mother Jackson, amen, is home from the hospital, but she still need our prayer. Yeah. We are praying that God would just let her know that her family, her church family, is praying that God will continue to keep his arm of protection around them. This morning I had several people call and say they enjoyed a, a verse of thank you, Lord. And I asked, amen, that our musician would give us just a verse of it and we were going to our message. While we're getting ready to go into our message, I would if you would turn to Job 12 and 13. Want to talk just for a moment? Understanding life trials. Understanding life trials. Amen. Musician, we need to thank him every day of our life. Or certainly we've been going through some things. I never had to sit in my house as long as I've been sitting. But I know that. It's going to be over after a while. The scripture and the sin let me know this too shall pass. Thank you, Lord.
I want to thank little Miss Nanja Parker for opening us up with a wonderful song. And certainly it's a blessing this morning. Amen. Uh, at least we know that God is still in the blessing business. Our young people are still singing, still rejoicing, even though not, not able to go to school, not able to go outside and play like they normally, but the Lord's hand is still on them. Amen, this morning, I just want to talk for a moment, amen, about, amen, understanding life trials. And I know a lot of us don't understand what's going on. But Job 12 and 13 said, To God belongs wisdom and power, counseling and understanding are healed. In other words, everything that's happening, everything that's going on, amen, the Lord is in control. Yeah. You may not understand it. I know that the governor, the president, and Many other males and peoples are talking about opening up our cities, opening up our states, amen, because people losing jobs or people, amen, need to get back out in the shopping centers. But I'm here to tell you, stay with God. Yes. Trust in Him. Amen. He'll let us know when we need to do what we need to do. That's why Proverbs said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lead not to your own understanding, but all your way acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. Amen. Job speak of the power of God. Yeah. And I don't know if you realize, but God has all, all power. I know they're trying to find a remedy and uh, some kind of cure for this, amen, coronavirus, but God has all power. Yeah. Amen. This session give, amen, living. Uh, definition to the wisdom, power, and sovereignty of God. Verse 13, Job despised, he despised, amen, his questions about his suffering. Uh, and then not only the suffering, but uh, he affirmed that God's power is living in nation, human society, religion matters, and national and international affair. In other words, God know about it all. He have the rhythm. He have the power. And most of all, he have, amen, uh, his arms of protection around our city. Job, however, uh, explained this in uh, true and in terms of totality, despised, Amen. All that is going on. Job know all this and it didn't help. So he didn't want to argue with them anymore. He wanted to take the case to God. And when you can't find an answer, you can't find a solution, you take your bird to the Lord and leave him there. Job wanted to take it to the Lord. Many of us know the story of Job, how he lost everything he had. Yeah. Lost his children, lost his home, lost his cow, sheep, and all that he had, he lost it. But he knew that if I take my burden to the Lord and leave him there, God will give me the answer. He wanted, amen, we want to always understand why we are going through trial. I want to tell you, you'll never understand while we're going through all these things. But let me tell you, this was certainly the case for Job, who faced horrendous and unexplainable suffering and love. All that he loved, couldn't understand it. Job was a religious man. He was a true man, a man that loved the Lord. So he couldn't understand it. Yet despite his many questions in Job 12, he declared, that God is mighty and what he tear down cannot be revealed. And all I'm going through, I want you to know God is still mighty. All my suffering, I want you to know God is still holy. And all my pain, I want you to know God is still good. Can I get a witness? Amen. He's still good. Amen. Throughout his, amen, 
uh, many lists of things that he went, Job went through. Amen. He doesn't mention, uh, he doesn't, doesn't mention, nor do he, amen, uh, wonder why he allowed pain and suffer. He never went through that. He never worried about why we're going through what we're going through. Job doesn't have uh, the answer. We may not understand why God allowed certain struggles in our life. But like my friend Job said, we can put our trust in him. My mama said, my mother used to always say, we may not understand it now, but we will understand better by and by. So Papa's praying, ask yourself, what struggle are I, am I going through? What struggle, what problem am I having in my life? How can I, how can this, amen, struggle lead me to closer to the Lord? How does it help to know God is in my life? How does it help to know God is with me? Well, let me tell you. One thing I do know, God said, I'll not leave you, nor will I forsake you. I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. And so my brothers and sisters, I leave this morning. Let me let you know this here. All that we're going through, some of us are losing some things. But whatever we lose, like Job, God will replace it. Some of us, amen, are losing our, amen, family member. But God is still able. Amen. He still will make a way out of no way. So Papa's praying, I want you to look to Christ as I get ready to pray. I'm praying for the sick. I'm praying for the shed in. I'm praying for the O'Neill family, for Amen Mother Carolyn Jackson and family. I'm praying for those that are going through, such as Amen Brother and Sister Talbot and family and many, many others. I pray that God will bless you and keep you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we bow our heads this morning, the songwriter said, thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so kind. Father God, I just pray now as I amen, close out this session of our segment of study and word from the Lord, I pray that you let Papa Spring know no matter how much trials that we're going through, God will make a way out of no way. Father God, we pray you bless us today. Help us this morning to know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. But you did tell us, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my faith. Turn from their wicked way. Then will I hear from heaven. I forgive your sin and I heal your name. Thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, in the end of the heart say, Amen. 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 God bless you, Papa Spring.